Miss Nanette here, and I am here at home. I've been putting some things together that you can do at home today. We've been busy learning about the parts of the flower as we prepare for spring, and so I've got some, some ideas for you to do. So we're gonna start over here. This is just, I drew a circle right here, and then I had some uh, tissue paper that I cut up in squares, and I put some glue down on the, the circle, and then I crumpled up, watch, you make crumple up the, um, the little tissue paper, and then you glue it down, and you can make a flower. Do you remember the parts of the flower that Miss, Miss Ashley talked about today? So fun. And then up here, I took um, cupcake holders, cupcake liners, and I turned them inside out and I glued them down. And uh, please, no judgment on my drawing because, you know, not the best. Um, but you can also, so on these cupcake liners, it doesn't matter what kind you have. On these, it is white on the back. Um, so I could have left it on the white side and colored that, which would have been super cool, but I wanted to make a sunflower. Sunflowers make me happy, so um, that's what I did. And purple's my favorite color. What's your favorite color? Okay, then over here, look at this. I had a sweet friend that sent me flowers, and so I thought, oh, I know what I can do. I can paint with those flowers. So if you take your flower, and then dip it in the, uh, the paint, make sure you do a good job. And then you put it over here and you're gonna stamp it. Now, push it down to so make sure you get all the paint and then look what happens. <gasps> Isn't that awesome? Now, you may not have a, a, any flowers at your house. I wouldn't have had any if it wasn't for my friend that sent them to me, but that's okay. You can go outside and go for a walk, and maybe you can find some growing um, along your way. Don't go in anybody's yard. That would not be okay. All right, then over here, I have forks. Everybody has forks, right? So, you're gonna put your paint down. Look, I already made some blue ones. Oh, let me fix that. I already made some blue ones. And then look, over here, I have this pretty pink. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you put it in the, in the paint, kind of get some of it off, and then look. Here we go, watch. Where should I put it here? It doesn't really matter, it's my creation. Look. <gasps> That's so beautiful. Okay, let's put some more paint on. Like, let's, we need more pink over here. How high should we go? How tall should our flower be? How tall? Did you listen to my book about the tiny seed? Is this gonna be the really, really big um, flower that grew in our book? And then, once it's dry, take your marker and then you can make the stem. On this one, I made a little grass because, you know, flowers need grass. So I think these flowers, the fork flowers, kind of look like tulips. And tulips are one of my favorite uh, flowers too. All right, now, that's it with the art things that you can do. I also have some fine motor things that you can do. Again, if you have uh, some real flowers at home, that's awesome, but if not, you can use fake flowers. You can use spaghetti for this activity. Um, anything, you, uh, pipe cleaners, and all you do is we are gonna work on our fine motor. So you're just gonna pick it up and then get it into the hole. Oh, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Again, you don't have to have real flowers. You can have fake flowers. Or you can even, uh, like I said, use spaghetti or sticks from outside. You just have to make sure they're small. And you can also do um, uh, pipe cleaners. Just a way to keep us working on our fine motor skills and our eye-hand coordination. The last thing I have for you today is a beautiful flower. Look at this beautiful flower. So for this flower, I just took 
um, some paper, some uh, tissue paper, and I folded it up, and then I wrapped it with a pipe cleaner. Now, you may not have a pipe cleaner at home, and that's okay. You can use string or yarn, and you just wrap it around the bottom of it, squeeze it together, wrap it around, and then you will have a beautiful flower too. Aren't we so glad that God gave us these beautiful flowers? Oh, and springtime is the perfect time to look for them as we go for our walks outside. It's a beautiful day today, so you should definitely head outside and enjoy the springtime. All right, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.